What's up guys, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for another round on some Monel today. And today we're talking about Monel K500, but only when it's produced by Special Metals, because if it's not produced by Special Metals, then it's just plain old Alloy 500 or Alloy K500. So, the UNS composition for this guy is N05500. K500 offers a corrosion resistance of Alloy 400, but with greater strength and hardness. So, uh, we know that 500 does have a greater degree of strength and hardness than Alloy 400. Cool. What else? It is another solid solution of nickel and copper with additions of aluminum and titanium. K500 can be strengthened by heat treatment. Precipitation, aka aging, provides the increased strength Good to know. Cold work can further enhance strength and hardness as well. Typical of all the Monel alloys, it has excellent corrosion resistance and it is used where higher strength and hardness is also required. Excellent saltwater corrosion performance leads to many marine applications, such as components of valves, pumps, shafts, fixtures, fasteners, and fittings. K500 has a Curie temperature well below zero degrees Fahrenheit in all conditions, making it suitable for many non-magnetic applications where alloys 400 and 405 would not be acceptable. Monel is found in NACE applications in petroleum production and refining that require high strength or non-magnetic properties. Other chemical processing equipment applications take advantage of its high strength, corrosion performance, and thermal properties. It is recognized in ASME standards for certain applications within the boiler and pressure vessel code. Now the chemical composition of UNS N05500 is, whoop, we'll try this way, right here, there we go. So what do we got today, folks? 63% nickel and cobalt, that's a minimum. What else? We got copper, that's at 27 to 33%. We got carbon. 0.25% max. We got manganese at a 1.5% max. We have iron at a 2% max. We got sulfur at a 0.01% maximum. Silicon, 0.5% max. Aluminum is 23 to 3.15%. And titanium, lastly, is 0.35% to 0.85%. So there we go. Now, the density is 0 0.305 pounds per cubic inch. The typical room temperature mechanical properties in the hot, finished, annealed, and aged condition are a tensile strength of 130 to 165,000 PSI, a yield strength of 85,000 to 120,000 PSI, with an elongation of 35 to 20%. Now again, the Curie temperature varies from minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit to a minus 210 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the actual chemistry, heat treatment, and any cold work that you've found with that specific heat. So, now comes to the specs, which again, there are not that many, but we'll go this way today. Here we go, right here. So, for bars and forgings, we have AMS 4676, we have QQN 286, and we have ASTM B865. And the last, not least, is plate, sheet, and strip with the QQN of 286. Now, each specification has requirements that can add to or restrict the chemical composition or properties beyond what we have shown you here today. Additional processing and testing requirements exist in the individual specifications. And so, we will remind you to check the specs. And so this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you very much for watching. If you've missed any of our previous videos, there they are. Right there. Easy peasy. If you've made it this far and you have not subscribed, please, please consider doing so now. Right here. Just hit that little button. Super easy. 
And again, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you next week for another session on some metal. Thanks for watching. I'm out.